Hello, Magic players. It's Corn. Corn Time 60, that corny guy, back again to draft March of the Machine. Now, we're doing quick draft because we are low on gems, and that's the way it goes. Omnath, Locus of All. How powerful is this card? What a help card. You may reveal a card if it has three or more colored mana symbols in its mana cost. If you do, add three mana in any combination of its colors and put it into your hand. If you don't reveal it, put it into your... Wait, what? Oh, so either way, you draw an extra card every turn. It's this. I'm just not sure how realistic five color is. Meanwhile, this seems really good. I guess I'll take on that. Do you think Vat Keeper is good? I'll take the Brood Lord. Or you cast a spell that targets one or more permanents, Incubate 2. That seems good. Actually, Norn's Inquisitor is really good, though. And I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Indestructible as long as it's attacked to battle. Turn up to two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. That seems pretty good. This guy's really good ramp. Actually. I've seen him do some big stuff. What does this do? 3 mana 2 3 haste is already okay. And then you pay 3 and it turns into a 3 4 flying haste. Or a creature you control that's enchanted or equipped attacks. It gets double strike until end of turn. Uh, art is a little too crazy. Informant. I know Aetherblade Agent is good. I think Alabaster Host Sanctifier is pretty good. I could go white red. Grab an equipment or two. What's this actually do? I mean, it's a 7 6 flying that I can convoke out. Decision time. Probably not running on math. I'll take him. Maybe I should have gone red white instead, but here goes. That's removal. Another Etherblade agent. He's pretty good. Final Flourish is also pretty good. Might also still be in white, though. Especially if that's coming around. Take the Iper Drinker. There's multiples of these. So we might be in white. 
Another Aether Blade agent. These are all good. I'll take another Aether Blade agent. I do like the Bane Splitter. This flash, right? Yeah. Grab the unseal. Nice. I kind of wanted to grab one of those. An offensa. the scrappy bruiser is best another Iker drinker would be nice but I think I have to take the imperious or just so I'm not playing against well I still might end up playing against one Or Phyrexian, you control dies. Phyrexian, potentially Phyrexian. Actually, don't have a lot of Phyrexians. Lawrence Inquisitor. I'll take that. We may end up going into green then. this. Two mana, two, two. You pay three, transform it. It has prowess twice. That's so ridiculous. I don't have a very many non-creature spells as of yet. There's also just a two mana, two, two trample prowess. Already pretty good. Some blessed guardian. Take the render in art. Another Norn's Inquisitor. We might go into a white splash. We'll have to see. I think Thrashing Frontliner is good. Take the beat stick. Coming in hot. We don't want another beat stick. I may end up splashing white. We'll see. I already have a render inert that I'm probably not gonna run. Artifact, battle, enchantment, or creature with flying. More death touch. Fleeting gorilla, I can just run. Let's see what our last card is. Realm Breaker. Two tap, they mill three. So it is just a millstone, like. Kinda wanna grab the Pyretic Prankster, honestly. Cause I know Realm Breaker is a win condition, but come on. Could 
it is kind of three mana do nothing in what is basically an aggro deck. Could also grab the Scoured Baron. So if I do run white, I'll get two Norns Inquisitors, an Invasion of Kylum. I think I'll take him. Garuda. Hmm. This is also just a six mana six six that gets an extra creature. Okay, what's it look like if I splash green? Serpent Blade, War Historian, and Imperious Or. I don't know. There's a Vat Keeper. Or another flitting gorilla. Alright, we're very aggro here. Not sure how well that's gonna work out. Another Stormclaw Rager. Who I think is pretty good. Or Train Slasher. See how good this card is. We'll get multiple copies of it just to see how good it is. What's this do? Enters, drain two. Failed conversion's decent removal, but I think this is a good card. Sacrifice another artifact or creature, incubate three. Let's get the Drag Recycler. Okay, now we're at a full deck. I think being this aggressive, we can actually cut uh, one land. An even color split. Yeah, I think this is good. I think we can run it. Only with even mana values. Well, that ain't happening. I have two equipments to potentially enable him. Let's try it. We're gonna try red black. Not sure if Rakdos is really an archetype here. Not sure how useful that big demon is gonna be either. Like, convoke. If you can convoke an eight drop pretty easily, I think. Nope. Uh, I guess. I guess I can keep this. 
oddly enough. Because I have the Iker Drinker with the Corrupted Conviction. So hopefully I draw a mountain. the two drop. Nope. Arm of Godfire. Let's go with the Flitting Gorilla. Oh, Rome Pest. Okay. totally out of it, but we do kind of need to draw a mountain. It's kind of mountain or bust right now. Fly to burgeoning, sure. Incubate two and get extra mana. Botanical brawler's decent. Do I even want to block that? Yeah, I think so. from your graveyard to the battle. Okay, that's busted. Uh, that would that needed to be a mountain for me to even stand a chance. Okay, so let's look at the lands. I think that the game was just punishing me for trying to run 16 lands. I think that's what just happened. They're like, oh, you want to run 16 lands, do you? Well, how about you get zero lands? Now, see, it's an even color split. I don't think I did anything wrong there. It's just bad draws, bad shuffles. Getting only double swamps. That's what happened the last draft. It's like, I thought the deck went, was pretty good. Bad draws. Yeah, what the heck? What the actual... Alright, I'll keep it. I'll keep it, because I don't feel like mulling. I'm just gonna mull and get two mountains again, because that's apparently how this shuffler works. I guess it is the authentic magic experience, though. Another one. This might be all I do all game. Hopefully I get one real game, though. Botanical Brawler. Swamp. Holy crap. I guess I should have mulled it, but what? I, yeah, I'm getting punished for running 16 instead of 17 lands. There we go. Could transform him. Prowess, prowess. I think getting down the death touch is probably better.
Okay, he has lots of mana. He could transform the Dune Shaper. And then I would take damage. He must have decisions to make, like which five drop to play. How to end up with two? Oi, oi. And it has first strike. Yeah, no block. Let's play another Aether Blade. Hold back. Swing with anything else, I block it. Swing with that, I don't block it. No blocks. Plus one owed first strike until end of turn, huh? So I can use this to win a battle, but only once. Or I can use it to force a trade with the red cap. I guess doing three and four colors is probably the better choice in this format. The plan is to gum up the ground and then use my flyer to win. Yeah, he keeps attacking with that. I'm gonna have to... We don't need another mountain. Guess I give up the flyer. Get my death toucher back. I forgot that taps for mana. All right, eat the blade agent. No attacks. I 
I really need a swamp. And like, I don't know, something else useful. Because he can hit me pretty, pretty damn hard right now. He might win if he just transforms the Dune Shaper, actually. Or does that. And then transforms the Dune Shaper and then swings out. I think I'm dead. Oh shit. Did that give everything trample? Yeah, okay, I'm dead. I'm dead and then some. 16 16 trample. That was nuts. I guess Botanical Brawler's pretty good. Okay, fine, fine. Well, was it, it was trying to add an extra swamp. We'll add in the extra swamp. Okay, fine. Sheesh. Should I be splashing white? I wouldn't know what to cut is the problem. Maybe I'll get one real game. Come on. Come on. One game where I actually have lands. Holy crap. Make note of this, though. Because this is ridiculous. Okay, I'll keep it... I'll keep Gyruda over the Javelinier since he's more impactful. Like, if I do manage to cast it, it could change the game. Let's get this. I will take the trade. Trailblazing Historian, okay. Does he attack with Valduk? I'm guessing not. Oh, okay. Yeah, no blocks. Um... Play the Chomper. No attacks. Hold up the Vanquish, which we're going to use probably on Valduk. Yep. Kill him. I waited to do it. Please attack with your 3-3. Three, three. No? Two tap, crack that to draw. If I manage to cast Garuda and hit anything decent. Freewheeler. 
Sure. Judith, the Scourge Diva. Four, five, six, seven. Sheesh. Okay. Glistening gore monger. I think I just cast this and have a 7 6, right? <sighs> For as long as that card remains exiled, you may play it. So that's even if the Broodlord dies. Could just grab a land. Honestly. <laughs> Feels a little silly, but resolving Garuda seems good. Sure, hit me for six. Muy suspicioso. I'll just take it. Let's play Garuda. Oh, only one option, okay. That's 10. So yeah, let's just 10 him. And pass. Plus two Owen gain haste. Oh wait, he was tapped out. I could have killed him that turn. I thought this gave first strike, not haste. Stupid die. If I lose now, I'm gonna feel like an idiot. So I could have done is just played, and he was tapped out too, wasn't he? Yeah. No, not quite, but close enough. Yeah, I could have killed him that turn. Sure.
So he has trample. He has flying. I can at least force blocks. I mean, that's nine in the air, so I think he's practically dead. GG. Alright. Well, I should have won a turn ago, but oh well. This way the Brood Lord alone kills him. I don't think there's a one mana destroy target creature in this format. There's a destroy target creature that was dealt damage. We had one real game. It's because I ran 17 lands. They really don't want you going down to 16 lands. So they punish you for it if you do it. In real life, some of the best drafts I've had, I ran 16 lands. And I was just super aggro, so it didn't matter. If I got three lands, I was happy. But the problem is, MTG Arena won't give you three lands. Fucks to huge. It's a weird name. Look at this. I guess they will give you three lands, just the wrong lands. Um, shit, I kind of have to try it, don't I? Get rid of Gyruda. Of course. The opponent can't be in a similar situation. Everyone has to just curve off perfectly while I play basically nothing. I'm a little salty, can you tell? That was loud. Howling noise. It's a good blocker right now. It's a good something. Playing mono white. Like on purpose. There you go. Oh yeah, I really need to land there. All right, Stormclaw it is. Is 
So that only costs one to equip. Hey, that card's actually insane, isn't it? Yeah, I'll double block. Not sure what you expected. Okay, that figures. Now, what does he attack with? Javelinier. Five, six, seven. So if I draw land, I can play the Brood Lord. Doesn't quite have the mana to transform that. Okay, now he does. Sacrifice Scrap Chomper, immediately crack it to the Rager, or sacrifice it to Conviction, or wait and sacrifice it to Conviction after blocking. I think wait and sacrifice it after blocking is better. So he's going to kill the invasion this time. Oh no. Now I can't even kill that thing. It's an anthem. Okay, so he's making it so this definitely dies and flips. Let me think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I have to hold back and be able to resolve the Broodlord, so I'll just not block. I really hate that noise, whatever that is. Is that his pet? I can mute him. Yeah. Shut that down. Yeah, let's grab Gyruda, honestly. Not sure what else could make a big difference here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, I'm dead. But does he know I'm dead? If he doesn't swing out this turn and I manage to resolve Gyruda, I may have a shot. But if he kills me this turn, then that's it.
They're going to take all their time to figure it out. Hopefully they've actually gone AFK and I'm going to get a free win. Oh no, they're still here. If he has removal, then he knows he can kill me and just kills me. Oh no, he knows he kills me. Darn. Oh well, GG's. Shit happens. Got one win. Call that a loss. We call that a loss. I have not figured this format out yet. And I doubt if I will. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed that more than I did. Um, peace out, y'all.